Guys, great news, this fence is hot. Just setting up the camera to film me doing a shot of doing a victory dance. Woohoo! We got the fence electrified finally. Uh, and I was just setting up the shot and I heard this little zap and 53 went running back. So I think he got a little taste of it, which is good. I mean, I don't want them to experience pain, but it's going to help them in the long run be safe so they don't escape and suffer the consequences of free ranging. I'm not happy to see them get shocked, but I am happy to see that it works. Guys, this is exciting. This is a big accomplishment. What a huge sense of satisfaction getting this taken care of. So if you don't have a voltmeter or a fence tester, a friend of mine showed me another way you, you can actually test to see if your fence is hot without touching it. Just get a blade of grass and if you touch it against the fence, ah uh, yeah, I feel it. You feel that every time that energizer hits that pulse out, uh, it sends a little bit of it right up the, the blade of grass. It w didn't hurt or anything, but I could feel the vibration from the pulse. And I was just going back in, and I heard the flock just start running. Somebody hit the fence here and broke the thing off. And we're five minutes into this, and they've already popped it off. I'm going to have to get these things on there more secure. All right, I got the fence set back up. The problem was a few of these clips were not all the way on the T-post. So you see how it's off there a little bit. I had a few like that, so I'm just gonna fix this last one here and it should be good to go. If you're gonna be working anywhere near the electric fence like I just was trying to fix that yellow clamp, detach the energizer from it. I just learned that lesson the hard way. This fence is hot, that hurt. I had my left hand on the T-post and I reached around with my right hand to straighten this out. The back of my hand caught the cable up here and I, because I had my hand on the T-post, I created a path right to ground. So I went right up my right arm, through my chest, out my left arm, and right down I felt the whole thing. It, there may have even been an involuntary yelp involved. It's just coming out here to check on the sheep for the evening. Got a windstorm rolling in here. Check out that rainbow. It is a full 180 degree rainbow. And I don't know how well it's coming out on video, but you can actually see there's two rainbows. One right here, and then right there. 